Hey guys, Luke here. <coughs> I got my wife's uh, Mercedes ML 320 here. Uh, 2002, I think. Got a problem with the power windows. Now that we're gonna try and uh, resolve this issue today. So the power windows, none of them work. Uh, I checked the module under the passenger seat or under the passenger uh, uh, kick well there. Uh, there's no longer a module on these. There's also there's just a fused block that goes in there, so that's not a relay or anything. Uh, doesn't seem to have any effect if I take it out or swap it or whatever. The fuses are fine. Uh, of course, the the mirrors don't work, and the full automatic automatic uh, automatic uh, folding mirrors don't work either. Power door locks work though, uh, so that's a little weird. But anyway, so at first when this started, the rear ones weren't working. Oh no, the front ones weren't working, but the rear ones were working, both of them. So that was kind of weird. Uh, now the front ones stop working altogether. Uh, when you actually turn the car or when you tr turn the truck on, you can almost, if you click on this lightly, you can almost feel the motor click. And I can almost get it to move just a little bit. So. One thing to, con to mention is that this rear automatic climate control unit is always flickering regardless if the car is on or off, uh, if the key is in it or out of it, it's always flickering. And I can get the flickering to become slower when I press the driver's side power window button. You see that? So I'm not sure what is going on here, I'm hoping it's just the, the unit underneath here. This is a common problem with these, so I'm going to rip all this apart and look underneath there and see what I can find. Okay, to, to rip this all apart here, uh, the basil snaps on, just take the basil right off. This little uh, compartment in there just slides back and out and up. Yeah, the shifter has a little uh, uh, screw thingy. So once you pop this off, just yank on the shifter and it just pops right out. There's just a clip on the bottom of it that kind of sits in the groove here. Uh, after that, after that you got a couple of uh, five and a half millimeter uh, uh, bolts underneath here, and then a couple of these. Uh, snap things. I just depress the center of it and then pull the whole thing straight up. So those are sitting in the glove box underneath. And then this should pull out. There's two little tabs over here. So when you take these screws out for this uh, for this compartment here. So first you take the screws out and then you push on these tabs with a with a flat screwdriver and then this pulls straight up let's pop this out of the glove box there's a couple more torx uh, t20s in here move those and then the whole thing seems to pop up so i think uh, that's it for the screws so, starting the troubleshooting here, first thing I did is remove that uh, driver's side uh, button and immediately when I remove that, the rear, the rear climate control stopped blinking and the rear window started working. Now the fronts still don't work, the mirrors still don't work, or fold, power, work, power door locks work because they worked before, 
Uh, so the next step is I'm gonna rip this apart. I could just order the part, but I wanna see why this thing failed. So unfortunately, after ripping all of this apart, it's apparent that uh, I can't fix this with my technical ability. See on the harness here. On the well, uh, cool the printed circuit board where the where the kink is on here. This is how this is mounted. So here, just from age, I think this shrinks over time and, and it cracked. So I believe the problem is with the PCB itself. I can't. Uh, see being able to fix this unless you're an awesome uh, electronics guru but for my intents and purposes I'm gonna just go and order this uh, part brand new and that's it uh, a lot of guys say that a lot of these problems are caused by debris and coffee and blah 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 going into these going into these uh, uh, switches here and that's what's causing the issues I don't think this is the actual problem there's a little lip here that allows that, that doesn't allow any fluids to get in. As you can see, it's soiled all the way around. Get this to zoom here. All the buttons are soiled all the way around, but when I took the buttons out, it's 100 percent clean in there, and I, also, I even took this off the back end here, and the PCB is clean and there's no fluids or anything on it so I think what happens is due to age and the way this thing is mounted here with a kink like that over time it just dries out and, and cracks and causes problems we'll see once I get that new board I'll, I'll update this video and uh, let's see if the problem has been resolved okay well uh, put this uh, whole unit back in here everything's working great uh, I bought the unit on eBay used uh, it came with the with the wood uh, my old one is here that's basically the same condition so I didn't even bother swapping all of the internals I just popped this one back in and uh, yeah, so I finally got that fixed.